Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and today I have the Indulgence Index Box die set to share with you from Tonic Studios. It's one of their showcase die sets and there are 46 different dies in this set so it's a very big A4 die set and you also get this little stamp set. Now I have had a little look already and I have cut out a lot of things and I really just want to give you a quick run through the dies and then we'll start making something because I've had lots of ideas that I hope will work together in this. So if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that and hit the notification bell. There's lots more videos to come up and I'd really love you to give it a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it because that will help my channel immensely. And also don't forget to leave me a little comment and let me know what you like about it as well. So straight back into this die set. I have checked it all out. I have looked through the instructions that you will also get and you can follow along with those or you can follow along with me. But first of all, I want to sh show you a lot of dies here that can be used not only to make this fantastic looking little index box, but that you could use on cards as well, because you know I always like to do that. Now, we have this little die here. That's a fantastic little die just for a very, very basic shape. Then we've got corners. We've got this one that could be used for a little corner to pop onto a memory book and then you could make a pocket from it so it, it turns out like this when you fold these back and then you can slip something down in behind that I've just got a bit of card here but something, a photograph or whatever you need down in there and that would be just fantastic and obviously you can layer that up as well in the colours of your memory book uh, we've also got these beautiful ones here this is the main die And that will give you the basic shape that you will cut out to make the back of your little box. I'm just going to show you it here, cut in white. And you can fold over these sides and you know the rest. We're going to go from there and make something totally different as well. But as you can see, you'll probably see already that I always move my dies from my uh, set here straight onto my magnetic platform. Because once I start using these and I'm taking them off and on all the time, uh, it's a lot, lot handier if we've got that kind of magnetic thing behind there, then I'm not going to be searching all over the floor for them. You can see immediately they just fit on there. Anyhow, let's have another look. So absolutely beautiful panels here. So when you use these along with their outside edges, you could have bookmarks, tags, whatever you like. Loads and loads of lovely things. But just in case I don't use these in the actual video further on, I've gone ahead and cut a couple of these out. You could also make pockets here with this and this, and then we've got lots of little tags that you could add to other things as well. But this little shape here, I hope you can see that, has a really, really beautiful little pattern on the edge of it there. So that's a, a pattern that would be debossed onto your card, and it looks absolutely fantastic on mirror card or pearlized card or whatever and I have used it on some satin card there and I hope you can see that because it's really really beautiful but that's what this little pattern does. When you come to these dies here you can see the ones that have this sort of curved top and then the sides here so we've got a set here that cut out the basic shape but these ones here which look as if they're the same actually have a little line inside there as well and if you cut that out you'll get this lovely pattern on the edge as well and that just gives you a different look so you actually don't have to cut out four of these you can see there are four there but you'll be using sort of either or their alternative ones you can use this one or this one now I've also cut out a couple of these little things and then I'm going to move quickly onwards but I wanted to show you these as well because these cut out but they do deboss on top of some card as well. And there you are. Isn't that really, really lovely? I've, I've just gone ahead and cut these out because I may not actually use them in my video and I wanted you to see what they look like. Now, this one is for the top of the handle but obviously you could use it for anything. But there's a lovely little pattern in there as well. And that gives you this. Now... I have looked at this and immediately had some ideas of something that I could make. You've probably seen it in the photos already. Something just sprang to mind that is totally different from the index box. I've already cut out lots of stuff. I'm going to make the index box first because it's really, really beautiful. It's what the die set was intended to make. 
and then I'm going to try another couple of things as well so don't go anywhere I'll be right back these are all the pieces that you'll need to cut out for the basic construction of the little index box first of all so we've got the main shape here and then you've got two of these panels with the straight edge glue tabs on them two of these with the curved ones at the side two little corner pieces uh, one index card and then this piece for the roof and then I went ahead and cut out panels and pieces that I know I'm going to use to decorate these and I've put them all on now it really wouldn't be the end of the world if you left them and put them on afterwards but it just makes life a little bit easier at the moment so first of all I have used the plain panels to cut out white on here I'll actually just show you what I've used I've taken the plain panel and I've cut it out in white card and then I've taken this one and this one together and I've cut out red glitter card and then I have glued the red glitter card patterned piece on top of the white one and glued the white one on top of the roof part and I've done that twice to make this little piece and then I've also done the same with the other panels so I've cut out the basic shape in white with one die and then I've cut out the two together and made these and these then are going to go on here and here so I'm going to go ahead and glue those on there I cut myself an index card shape and I'm going to put it right on the back there I just wanted to cover that as well I don't necessarily have to but that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to add some of these little panels so you can see I've already decorated some of those up but I'll come back and show you those just in a second. These are the pieces then I've already decorated this so these are the pieces that we're going to use to construct the basic box shape first of all and I've cut out two of these as I said earlier with the straight glue tabs on and one of them doesn't really need any decoration because that's going to be the bottom and that will get glued on here and then when you fold that up you can glue it on like that and that gives you the base of this little box then this next one will get glued on to that and these tabs will go in here so you can see already that because that's going to be the front then you'll need some decoration on that and I've put the same little panel on the front and now I'll just glue these pieces in take these two tabs that have the little curved glue tabs on them and obviously they don't need decorated but you're going to put them in uh, like this so the glue tab is on one side here and on the other side here so what you do then is you will glue this tab and the bottom down on the side with the flat edge out here and this little tab sort of just gets folded over and then that will be the sort of rest for the little lid on it so go ahead and glue just the side and the base on that one and you'll do exactly the same with this one. And when you've got all of that in place you'll be able to cover these glue tabs with the little index card that you cut. So just go ahead and glue that you might need to just pull these back slightly for a moment or two and then glue this and pop it in here and that covers that all up and keeps it nice and neat. Actually with the black you can't see them too much but I'm going to cover them anyhow. Now you can go ahead and attach this little lid part. So I've already decorated that as I said and then you can cut two little hinges and fold them down the centre there. Now you'll be able to see, it's, it's actually very very simple, this part gets attached on here and that will be the little lid. So what you want to do is add a hinge on here so that this pivots back and forwards. Then the other one will go on here and it's not getting attached to anything at the back of the box, only on this because it's going to tuck in there and just keep that nice and neat. So I've gone ahead, 
and I've got some glue on here and I'm going to put that on there. So, so it's glued on so that it actually is sitting out like this and it's glued on on the back there if you can see that properly. And then when I put glue on this little panel right across here I can go ahead and glue it inside the box there. And then you'll be able to go ahead and put glue on this one so it's folded over like that and then put glue on here and add it onto the top of that and then that will be the little piece that tucks down in and keeps it all nice and neat. And then just to finish that off I can go ahead and glue these little tabs in here so one is going to go there then that gets folded over there and that makes the beautiful little corner that finishes that off and we can put the other one on the other side waited until everything was square and sorted out before I put those corner pieces on because I just wanted to make sure everything was going to fit right and then I could hold them in place while the glue grabbed. But you could certainly go ahead, as it says in the instructions, and add those corner pieces on before you actually add the rest of it together. It would be actually easier to hold them together while the thing is flat, but that's just my preferred way of doing it there. And then these little pieces, as I said before, these little pieces up at the top here, little tabs get folded in and they just make a little rest for the lid to go on and that's your little box. Now to make the little closure for the top of this. So we're going to need these three dies and I have cut out this one and then I have used the little decorative detail one that I showed you here with the pattern on it but because I've cut it in glitter card you can't actually see the pattern but that's what I wanted to go on here. So now I have this little one and there are two little lines on there. You don't actually need to fold this one, those are just little guidelines. But you will fold this one on these two and give yourself this little shape here. And then just glue these tabs directly onto this and don't put any glue on that area at all. So it's just these two pieces here. Then you can go ahead and add glue on here. So just make sure you don't put any glue in this little centre area. It just goes up to, you can actually see the guidelines on there, just goes up to here. And then now you can take this little piece and put glue on the bottom end of it here and you're going to add that onto the back of the little box. Now this takes me a little minute or two longer because of the glitter card. It uh, takes a minute or two longer for the glue to grab on it but I prefer to just hold it and have patience and that way you know it's got it's grabbed really really well before you actually start to move it around a bit. And when the glue has actually dried on that then and grabbed properly you'll be able to just go ahead and slip that into the little area there that has no glue on it in, in below there and that's a lovely little closure on there. Now I've also got this little piece cut out so I've, I've backed that little silver part onto some black card and I'm going to put that on there and that is says special dates. Um, that There's no other silver on that I know but um, I just really liked the way you could see that on the silver there and I thought it went really well with that so I'm going to add that on there. To finish this then I added a little tag because I really felt I needed some silver just to add another little bit in and not have that lonely one piece of silver on there. So I've taken this die and I've cut that out in black and then I have taken this one and I've cut that out in red glitter card and then I have used the two of these together on the silver card there and that has debossed the beautiful little sentiment in and that ties all of that together and then I used some 3mm 
chili red ribbon and just attach that onto the top. Now to make some little index cards for inside it. So you're going to use this shape here and that's the one that I've used to cover the inside glue tabs. It's also the one that I've used to cover the back with the glitter card and you'll use that to cut your index cards as well. So there are two of these little shapes here and you'll see them in your die set side by side and one of them has a lovely little shaped edge on it and the other is rounded. I've already glued, uh, attached this with a piece of masking tape just to show you. So when you cut your cards out you will align the top of this little die, this piece here, right across the top here and then there are little notches. So if you want the tab in the centre you'll go ahead and line both of these up. Make sure this is level at the top and then you'll have a notch at either side. And I'm just going to show you this. I know this is the different, you would do them all this, this shape here if you were doing that one and keep everything the same or else you would use this one multiple times as well but probably not mix the two. So on this one I'm just going to show you how to do the tab over at the side. So again you'll line this up at the top here and then you can go ahead with this little notch and line it up at the side as well and that way you will get your tab over to one side there or you can move it over to the centre or you can actually move that tab right over there and you'll see it lined up there and just make sure that this is straight up at the top each time and then you'll know exactly where your little tab goes so it can be in the, cent the centre or to the right, right or to the left. I've gone ahead then and just stamped dates on the top of that. You could put whatever you like on there and then we've got some other ones made for inside here and you could just fill your little box up or make separate little compartments or whatever you like for that. But this is the little stamp set that you would use with it. And we've got all the numbers for the dates, the days of the month. Then all the months we've also got dates, recipes and then the days of the week there as well and some little lines where you would write your notes on as well. And that's that little one finished. I'm just going to pop that in there and do you like that? Let me know what you think in the comments down below and let me know what colour you would have used for that as well. I'll tell you why I used that one. My next little sample has nothing to do with this at all but I just spotted the dyes and thought mm, I'd like to make that with that and uh, the colours went from there and I like to keep my samples all sort of kind of coordinated for the final photographs and that's why this one ended up like that but it actually is really nice. Now I saw this and I thought I would love to make a shirt so let's see if it works because when I looked at this die it kind of reminded me of a shirt collar and I thought this would fold over and make something really nice here as well. So what I've done first of all is I've cut this die shape out and I'm just going to burnish those lines those fold marks there and then this piece is going to be the collar so I'm going to need two of them because I want one area to sit up so I've cut that out twice and I'm just going to cut straight along that line there and there and I don't need that part but I will then add these two areas straight onto here with double sided sticky pads or some foam Now that needs to sit roughly about there to look good so I know that I don't want all of this on the back and I want this folded over so that it doesn't look like a cut line. So I'm going to go down two and a half centimetres here and cut down there and straight across here to the other side and up there. And now to make that look really tidy I am just going to fold that over and burnish there and do the same on that side. And I can just glue those down at the back in a minute or two but that gives me the little more or less the little shape for the shirt front and then I can go ahead and glue that directly on top there and it's looking good already isn't it?
I glued the front of that down and I glued all this together and then I have taken the little die and I actually had made this earlier on. I was going to make a little piece that went right around my box but I noticed the shape of it whenever, whenever I was looking at it and I know you're going to think I'm crazy but that reminded me of the top of a tie and as I already had a shirt in mind I die cut this shape and I thought that that was fantastic stripy card to make a lovely little tie out of. So you can see that I have just cut it and I've left this piece on here and I'm going to glue that on there and then I'll just cut into a point here. So really all I'm going to do is take my scissors and cut a little point here. And I'm going to glue that straight on there and I really like to keep that long and have a point on it. You could cut it off and tuck it in just as if it's folded up with the shirt but I'm going to glue it on right there. Now the stripe was obviously going one way on here and then I thought this little piece here could be flipped around and set up on a foam pad but obviously being a tie and with a knot and whatever, I, all I did was rotate the paper around so that the stripe was going the opposite way and cut it once more. I've got this little piece and instead of gluing it on the way that is, I'm just going to turn it around and pop it up on a 3D foam pad on there and that's the little tie. That's it and it actually just shows you what you can do with a little bit of imagination and a die set. So just look at the dies differently and see what you come up with. Now I have also gone ahead and made a little card to put this on. So I've got it right here. I've taken a 5 by 7 card and these are the die sets that I've used then. I have used the Delicate Dots patterned panel along the back there in some Scarlet Organza Satin Effect card backed on to some white, uh, black and then I've taken one of these Layered Stars Scribble Frame dies from this one. So I've just taken a plain uh, star from there and glued it on here and I'm going to attach my little shirt on like that and then I have taken another little die set, a little die from this set. This time it's the birthday wishes. I have cut the backing plate out in black and then I've cut the birthday wishes out in red glitter card and some white and I'm going to put that on there and that on there and that's a lovely little card for a man as well. One last thing then before I sign off on this video. I've taken this die and I've cut that out in black card and then I have used the little panels for the side and I've cut those out in some lovely um, red berries speciality pa paper yeah paper and I have decorated that up so I've just folded these over to make a little pocket and you can see there there's the pocket I have used the square die that's for the index card to make a little mat or a little layer or whatever for inside a little tag and then I have used this little die here which was meant to be the catch for the back of the box um, you can see I've used it on here and I've just folded that over and glued it on the back and front of this to make a little uh, pull sort of bit for the, the tag there and then I've used the just for you and that's from the same set that the birthday wishes was from on the card and I've glued that onto the front so you could put um, a little present in this, you could glue that to the front of a birthday card or you could even use that in a memory book and obviously then you wouldn't necessarily be using the just for you but you could use all sorts of things in there. Now I'm not going to do any more with this, that's it for now. Uh, I'm just having one of those days where everything I look at I can see lots more things coming out of it and uh, I think I actually need to stop. There's where we started, the beautiful little index box little catch. Then we've got the card with the shirt made from the same die and a lovely little pocket and I would really love you to tell me if you, th if you saw that coming, if you saw that from the die set as well, I'd be really really interested to know if that's the way your mind works as well. 
that you see different things out of different dies. If not, um, and you want some pointers to how to do that, let me know in the comments below as well and I'll maybe give you some guidelines for that too. Thanks very, very much for watching. I hope you've really, really enjoyed it. I'll have links to all of the products that I use down below and I really appreciate everybody who uses my affiliate links each time. That means a lot to me and it means a lot to me if you take the time to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment. But don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, to do that too. Hit the notification bell and keep in touch. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.